welcome to OneSource Virtual's webinar on reaching your employees through Workday. I'm Colin Quinn, a Consulting Operations Manager in our professional services business. The current pandemic is causing numerous operational challenges for businesses. Challenges like a completely virtual workforce, ensuring employee feedback and connection, employee uncertainty, and the economic impact the pandemic will cause. In these turbulent times, you need a way to engage your workforce as you navigate this new reality. In this climate of uncertainty, it's nearly impossible to over communicate with your workforce. We can help you leverage Workday to assist with this challenge. There are quick ways to utilize Workday to help solve some of the current challenges. Leveraging Workday functionality can help your business facilitate employee engagement, the dissemination of critical information, collecting feedback, and inform your business decisions. Let's take a look at some of the things that Workday can help you leverage to facilitate communication to your worker base. These will range from features that allow communications within the Workday tenant to those that allow external communications. Let's start off simple. A quick and easy way to get a message out to all those that log into Workday is through a home page announcement. Announcements are often messages from leadership that it can include a photo of the person from whom the message is coming from. They can also include videos or links to actions, tasks, or reports. Let's take a look inside of a Workday tenant. You'll see that I am on our homepage and that I have an announcement already configured from Logan on our homepage. You can see that I made this quite simple, but these announcements can be much more complex and much more strategic. Let's take a look at the actual announcement configuration. To do this, you'll need to navigate to maintain dashboards in your search bar. You'll need to navigate to that task, scroll down to our home dashboard, and then click edit. I've already moved to that space and I am configuring the announcement. You'll see the configuration here, which we do not have a rule in place, so it's not restricting access. I've titled the message. I am showing that the message is the text and it's listed here, but you can also see where a video can be included. So in summary, homepage announcements are a very effective way for you to create simple or strategic complex messages that can go to your workers and appear on the homepage within Workday. Let's take a look at our next feature. Sometimes a different sort of communication is required, maybe written communication. You may be familiar with creating documents in Workday from other functionality, like onboarding or recruiting, but you can use these outside of those processes for more ad hoc purposes. Maybe the pandemic has caused you to create a new policy that you need to distribute. Maybe you have a unique offering for your employees that requires them to sign a form. You can do all this through Workday. The process is not complex, but first you have to create your document and we do this through creating our documents. Let's take a look. You can see that the task is fairly simple. Keep in mind that I've navigated to create document in my search bar. I've opened that task. I will need to name the document itself, which is what will appear as the worker is um, receiving the document. And the category here does indicate um, some security restrictions that might apply. So you'll just need to be careful with that. The type that are most common is an attachment or a simple link. The templates are much more dynamic and they can lead to much more complex uh, documents. 
but for today we're keeping things simple. So once you've created your document, then we would want to distribute it. And we can do that through a task to create and distribute documents or task. This is an extremely powerful task that lets you to send out uh, to do's. Um, and what we're interested in today is to send out a document. Um, so you can send out one or more documents at a time and it allows you to attach uh, signatures or acknowledgements as well. So let's take a look. configuration I've navigated to the task create distribute documents or task we do need to create a, a brief description here there is also a label override feature which is what the workers will see themselves the organizations here allow you to choose which type of organization within workday you would like to distribute the, this to most common companies cost centers or supervisory you can also include subordinate organizations underneath that if you're using the uh, type of organization that has a hierarchy. You can also restrict this to a specific type of role or user. From here, we would indicate the document that we just set up and we can allow various signature options. So let's take a quick look at what that looks like because I have configured one for us. I created a new teleworking policy maybe your organization has a need to update that policy and have workers acknowledge that uh, with our new virtual workforces um, so i've created the distribute task here the description the label override i am going to distribute this to all of global modern services usa and it's included subordinate organizations um, I've also just particularly targeted Logan because I don't really want to send this out to everyone in this particular example. I've selected our employee handbook just because I don't have that particular document, uh, you know, that's specific to my policy, but, you know, you would attach the document that you have. I've selected the signature option for acknowledgement here and created a signature acknowledgement statement, which could be specific to your organization, and I've distributed it out and we can take a look here in my inbox and here's Logan's task to acknowledge the document as we have indicated and requested her to do so. So here's her document link that she would click on. She would acknowledge and agree and now we have an acknowledgement for a new policy. So the last feature that we really want to stress to you in an easy to use way is creating surveys. And the previous features that we've shown to you are really more how you can push information to your employees. But this allows there to be two way feedback from your employees back to you. So whether you're taking just a quick pulse of your workers or if you're asking for more complex uh, survey feedback, um, back from your workers workday can allow you to do that through the survey feature and you can use um, these questions and survey functionality uh, within the mobile app as well. So let's take a look at what that looks like inside of our tenant. I've navigated to the task create survey and I have created my quick survey details by just giving it a name. The questions piece is really the strategic piece of this in that you will need to create question types. And these question types are very specific. The most common type is our multi-select checkbox, which allows you to give um, multiple answers. Our single select radio button. So that is typically, um, you know, just the single select and then also the free text as well. So let's take a look at what this looks like. I'm going to Logan's notifications because I have distributed a quick survey on COVID-19 survey responses. She can click take survey. And as this will appear, you'll see the two questions that I've created. Um, so I formulated these questions individually. Uh, this is the text field. And then these are our radio buttons. So hopefully this has given you a quick and easy idea to jumpstart your thoughts on how you can use Workday to distribute information. 
Um, we are here to help you and all of Workday's customers. What we would like to do is be able to um, help you through this challenging time. Our team is prepared to help guide you through the steps shared in the session and perform the work for you. The steps outlined on the slide indicate how to reach out to OSV for assistance. Uh, one path we have for our OSV Workday customers, which is to log in through OSV support in our case management system using the subject COVID-19 request. For other Workday customers, click on this link and click on sales inquiries, then scroll down to the contact form and enter COVID-19 support. Please don't hesitate to reach out, ask your questions. We are happy to help you. And thank you so much for your participation.